to start off, I used some craft foam, a hot glue gun with some extra glue sticks, a pair of scissors, and a ruler. I started off by cutting various strips of craft foam that were all of equal width. I used two different colors of craft foam just to help with designing, but we'll be painting everything later so it doesn't matter. To create the base, I started by layering two strips together to give it a bit more thickness and strength. From there you can just glue the ends together and make sure the circle is secured. To build the outer pieces of the crown, I started by attaching one strip of craft foam to the interior of the circle, and then used the other strip to help reinforce and strengthen that connection. The outer strip should line up to the rim of the base ring so that you get a seamless connection. After that, just hot glue all the pieces together, making sure there are no air pockets. I quickly cut off the excess on the top of the strips and then moved on to creating pieces that you can use for detailing. I attached two thin strips to each thicker piece and secured them all the way around the crown. From here, I attached each opposite strip to each other by securing them with hot glue. I tend to use scrap pieces of craft foam to clean up any glue that might leak out of the edges. By layering circle cutouts together, I started creating the base that will support the heart on top of the crown. A way to help create the bevel and the heart-shaped curve is to apply a bit of glue to the circle on top and then press the outer strips inwards to it and push it down. This is essentially the difference it'll make. Here I cut out some small hearts to put around the base of the crown, as well as added some strips to the lower ring to help create dimension. I layered more various circle sizes together to create a tiered effect on top of the crown, and then made the larger heart to sit on top. You can create a bit of a bevel to the larger heart by sandwiching a smaller cutout between the two pieces and then pressing the edges together. I cut off the bottom of the heart to help attach it to the circular pieces, and then I added a thin strip of craft foam all the way around to help secure it in place. Once you're happy with your structure, you can move on to sealing. I used Mod Podge to seal my craft foam, but wood glue or white glue works just as well. You want to seal craft foam before painting it because it's a porous material and will absorb a lot of your paint if you don't create a protective barrier for it. Plus I find adding layers of Mod Podge or glue help give the material a little bit of extra strength. Once I completed that, I just spray painted the whole thing black. And now you can move on to detailing. You can create this crown with or without a base depending on what you're using it for, but for mine I just layered five circles of craft foam together and then found out where they fit best in the lower ring and secured them with hot glue. I used a metallic silver acrylic to start painting the thin strips on the outer part of the crown. I also applied the silver on the hearts just so when the red goes on over top it will be brighter. Mm -hmm. 
I used a Winsor & Newton acrylic paint in Alizarian Crimson, but you can use whatever red works for you. Using a makeup sponge, I created a bit of a gradient along the hearts and on the bottom with a black acrylic. I wanted to have a little gold on the crown to reference the original Queen of Hearts, so I just painted the upper ring on the top of the crown gold. With some craft jewels from the dollar store, I just hot glued various rhinestones along the crown where I thought they would work. It helps when working with smaller rhinestones to use a wet cotton bud to help pick them up and apply them. To help finish it up, I just went over the crown with a crystal clear top coat to help give it a little bit of shine and protection. And that was basically my finished piece. For securing it on your head, you could either attach it to an Alice band, hair clips, bobby pins, or you can even embed magnets into it to secure underneath a wig.